This is a lesson in interconnectedness. One person gets some symptoms and the whole monastery has to shut down. So take it as a contemplation. As long as we're in an interconnected system, we're not safe. Things can change at any time, because the conditions can change at any time. This is why the Buddha said you want to find something inside that's not affected by those changes. Only then can you be safe. So this is why we look inside. This is why we spend so much time with our eyes closed, so that we're not looking so much at the world. And the eyes of the mind can look inside. Where is there something that's of lasting value? It's here that we see the value of the three perceptions. We're looking for something that is constant, easeful. So if anything is inconstant, no matter how good it may seem, it's going to be stressful. And if it's stressful, why hold on to it as you and yours? This doesn't mean we're going to look for our ultimate self, but it does mean that anything that doesn't pass those three tests can't be the goal, can't be safety. So keep looking inside, because as long as our happiness isn't secure, then we're not reliable. It's so easy for people to change when conditions outside get difficult. Things you would never think of doing suddenly become possible. So you want a mind that's not affected by conditions, a mind that's not connected. So keep looking inside. Work on the mind. Whatever troubles come up, the first question always is, to what extent am I adding more unnecessary stress here. And see if you can stop that. And as for the good things that come up, some of them are going to be the path, so you maintain them for the time being. Anything else that comes up that's not as good as the path, remind yourself. It's going to take you back into those webs of interconnectedness. You know what happens when people get caught in webs? They get stuck and the spiders get them. So keep working until you find something really solid inside. It's then that you have your refuge. <laughs>